Do I remember I was introduced? Yeah, I think it was like he's been with every girl in the school twice, which I thought was crazy that they would put that in a teen show as a voiceover, right? Like, but you have to remember, I go, I went to a high school where it was very small. Like, I think I graduated or my graduating class was like 180 students, which isn't like small, small, but like I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and there's like thousands of people in a graduating class here. So because of that, I would call it, there's a little bit of incestual, you know, friendship overlap. It was very, I wasn't the only one is what I'm basically saying. It was really not a lot to choose from when you only have so much to choose from. Like I was basically a douche before a douche was a douche or like an F, an F boy or whatever. Like, oh, so bad. You know, like it's funny because I, I know, right? Like the way they introduced me is pretty much as an F boy. That's crazy. But I think like the reality was I was like a hopeless romantic. Like I loved being in relationships. I tried to, you know, I think my biggest downfall is that I was like the nice guy in high school, right? I'm friends with Jason. Jason was the bad guy. The girls love Jason, right? Like he was like the bad boy. And I was like the jock good guy, right? Like I would like make dinner for girls at like 16 years old. Like Kristen, I think when an episode came over and I made her dinner, like that was what I would do. And girls were like, Oh, that's so sweet. I'll hang out with you. But then they're like, oh, this is boring. Like, I want to go be with the bad boy. So it wasn't like I was trying to be an F boy. It was that I was, honestly, the girls were kind of screwing me over, if I have to be honest. Like, I've always been a relationship guy, even if it's like dating, you know, for, for three to four months, it's never been like, I'm just like a one time kind of guy. Um, I, I wish I had a lot of insight into this, but I don't really remember very much because the show was a long time ago. But I will say that, you know, before the show aired, you know, I think there were already relationships happening or hookups, if you will, between, you know, I didn't hang out with Lauren until later in, in, the, in my like second season or something like that. Kristen, you know, I think junior and senior year on and off. But really the point that I made in my TikTok was, is that, you know, I think the show did a great job of, and or what, what even what Lauren said, I texted her right after. I said, well, thanks for, you know, blowing up my entire social media today. I really appreciate it <laughs> because it was like crazy when she, when she dropped that. Right. But I, I think the point that I was making from that was not like, Ooh, I'm the man, look at me, or you guys didn't know what was really going on. I, I think the point was that people were so focused on the Steven, Lauren, Kristen being like a real dramatic thing. When the reality is there was so much other storylines going on behind the scenes, not just with myself, but even with maybe Kristen or even with Lauren. I mean, Lauren had other boyfriends um, during, while she was in high school. I mean, some really cool dudes that I know and that were never wanted to be on the show or weren't on the show. So I, that was really the point I was making was that there was so much going on and MTV just for some reason, and, and you know, good for them. They made the right choice because America fell in love with, with them as a trio, but they really wanted to focus on that relationship specifically, even if it meant fabricating that drama between Lauren and Kristen, because it just made for good TV. But that wasn't what the real thing was. You know, they were actually pretty cool. I can't remember like what relationships happened before, but I just do know that the point I made was just that, you know, if you watch like the OC, like the real, like if you watch like the OC, like on CW, right? There are two characters. Well, they might not actually be in a relationship outside of that show. And so I know that's kind of a stretch here, but I'm basically saying if you look at, you know, Lauren and Steven and the Kristen love triangle as characters in a show, that doesn't mean in real life they were as, you know, involved as maybe the characters in the show were. Yeah.